What's going on everybody? DJ Gohab here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Lone Oak Farm. Me and A-Dub been up here working on mods all night. And we got something crazy for you. Hope you guys enjoyed the video earlier today. If you did make sure, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. We did a nice interview with A-Dub Modding who is, uh, well he's helped me with a few things as well as doing some stuff for himself. Which is really, really cool. So first thing today, we're going to jump in and we need to get some mowing done. We've got a lot of different things, plus we've got some poplars. What? Yup, we are jumping in with poplars. So I need two harvesters. So we have finished making the Agco Ideal Mower. It works and it is amazing. We're going to get two different versions. Uh, so as you know, the Ideal comes with Fent, it comes with Massey, and Challenger stuff. Well, we're going to jump over and we're going to use Challenger stuff today. So let's go in here, let's go down, let's get some white wheels on the back. Ooh, making that look real good. And then let's go in here, let's get a nice Challenger yellow rocking and rolling there. Let's see, beacons clear, that'll work. We're going to go with the Ideal 10T Plus and 100 million liter capacity. Oh baby, let's go. We're going to get two of these, we're just going to lease them, no reason to buy them. Boop, leased. Now, I need headers. I need, you know what? We should probably get another one of these, just in case. Let's get one and let's chrome it out. Rim color, chrome, main color, chrome, because <laughs> we can. We'll change that over to Challenger as well. We'll do a uh, clear beacon all the way, all the way. There we go. Too much chrome. Virtual Farmer would love that. In headers, we've now got this guy right here, the Draper Mower Header. Rim color. Chromed out, well, actually, no, room color, that needs to be white. We're going to bring this down, white, main color. Again, main color needs to be Challenger. We've got two of those. These are going to be our mowers. So, there's that. And then, A-Dub said, DJ, you need one more thing. So, we've got this. Poplars. Oh, man. This is a corn head that rocks poplars. And if you... Thought I was going to go chrome on it. Yep, you're 100% correct. There we go. Let's get it all sent back over to the main farm. And we also need to get some mowers as well. Because one of the fields that we do is going to have to be hay. I need hay very badly. And so we just going to have to do that. So check this out. Oh boy. Here they are all chromed out. We got the yellow ones, which are going to mow. Chrome's going to do our poplars for us. Goodness gracious. Hey, where's the, uh... Is it over here? Why? I don't understand. It puts headers over in the middle of the field if you reset too much stuff. But look how chrome that is. That looks so good. All right, let's get all this stuff kind of pushed back, pushed away, that kind of thing. I need to get everything out of the way because, here just a minute, we're going to bring in some mowers. I need, probably going to run two sets of mowers. We're also going to run at least one tether. We may run tethers on the back of both of the mowers. I have yet to make that decision. So, let's make that decision. Also, I don't know which field we're going to put it on. Ooh, Chrome slows down the uh, frame rate just a little bit. We've got it. I know exactly what's going where, and we've got a couple new stuff as well. Yo, check this out right here. So we've got the combines, we've got them ready to go. These are actually mowers, insane. And then these guys right here, we I figured we'd run with JCB today since we're going with Challenger. Um, I didn't have any Challenger tractors that would work for what we're doing today. Just nothing small enough. We need some smaller Challenger tractors. Didn't even know we didn't have any. So there you go. We've got mowers. Two of them. These are the modded mowers that we made in the XML file editing about a week ago. And then we've got the smaller version of the JCB with the Pottingers attached to the back. So what we're going to do here is the field that we're on right now is what is going to be the hay field. Because this is going to be the most uh, well, easiest probably to pick up. And then we're going to set mowers elsewhere. And I cannot wait to show you guys this. So... To start right off, the first thing we need to do is get these fast tracks out of the way. They're going to be nothing but in the way right now. And, well, we don't need that. Ooh, it's a little glitchy, but that's okay. Because what we're doing today is going to be so much fun. Put that one there. 
get this one, move this one out of the way as well. And then what I'm going to do is we're going to basically treat this field as if we were harvesting it. I don't think I've ever done grass in this field before, let alone grass in every single field. Oh man, get ready because this thing is ready to go. I need to check settings because we've got some things in here that I'm worried maybe we need to switch up. I think I have wide swath on. I don't think it's on uh, narrow swath, which is good. We want that wide swath because we're going to, you know, flip it and turn it into hay. Let's see. I may just hire a worker on here and see what they do. Please do good. Please do good. Please do good. You know what? Now nah, we're going to control this one. I did go with the faster JCB, the bigger one. Has a little bit more horsepower. We can get up and move a little bit better. Let's take the front, lower it down, turn it on, rock forward, take the back, drop it down, turn it on, and then we should be able to go pretty darn fast with these guys right here. Oh yeah, yep, that's a little bit quick right there. I'm digging it, man, I'm digging it. It's going so fast, the frame rate's having a hard time even keeping up. Hopefully it's looking good on y'all's end. We need to move this guy out of the way. Push, 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 push. Darn it, go. Come on. Go that way. Yeah, that worked. <laughs> so, headlands, here we come. We're going to hit, I think, either two or three, depending. I haven't made my mind up completely yet, but I do know that I want to hit quite a few of these. We're going to try and get as much done as possible. Then, well, we're going to set some combines because I know you guys want to see it. Worker is hired, and they seem to be doing just a fine job. To be honest with you, I think two mowers was probably too many. I think we could probably get all this done with one mower and one tether. Get it done real fast, especially with the tether. I can come through here, and I can use that tether and do just fine. Now, I have not modded the tether in any way, shape, or form, so those of you that may be saying, DJ, you know, put the... Uh, put the tether behind the tractor and let it go. I just haven't modified it to do that yet. One thing is, um, we got to figure out what in the world the worker's doing. Um, where are you going, bud? Yeah. What's the, uh, what's the overall game plan here, man? That's definitely not what you're supposed to be doing. Good job. Uh, let's try again. And we're going to reset your speed to maybe less. Let's say 20 miles an hour. Let's see. Nope. Darn it. Mow the grass. Let's reset your speed to 20 and see if you can handle that kind of craziness. And now to see if the worker is competent. Okay. They've been able to lift at the very end instead of flying through. That is a huge change. That should be the change that we needed. Um, this is the one thing about doing crazy mods. Yeah, I would say one thing about doing crazy mods is you, you run into problems. You run into big problems like this. So, yeah. All right. So it looks like we're going to be missing just a little bit on each end. That's okay. I can come through and I can fix that. The important thing is the mower is still back on a straight line track, doing just fine. Perfect. Let's make our way into something that I know you want to see. I'm going to show you how to mow with a combine. Now you have to have this mod or it's not going to work. I've not been able to find this mod anywhere. However, a double is telling me this is real life. Like mowing grass with a combine is it it happens in real life blows my mind what we've had to do is we have had to go in and i changed a few things he changed a few things he got it working to be fair he gets 100 percent credit for this but we have changed it all to basically say okay the draper mower head or the draper head we've changed to draper mower and it thinks that it is this head right here if we go into forge harvester headers it thinks that it's the new Holland 600 FDR. It's got the same specs and everything. It just looks totally different. And then the combine that we've got has the exact same specs. This guy right here, the Agco Ideal Mower, you can see at the bottom it says forage harvesters process the indicated fruit types for a forage harvester to work. 
needs a suitable header. Well, that's what these say, but it's a combine. Yup, and that is how we got it to work. I was able to modify the cutting height, but as you can see, I am mowing grass with animations, I must say, so it exists, with animations, and it's going in the hopper. Not only that, but grass is actually being transferred into the hopper. Grass is what is coming out of the auger on the inside. How cool is this? This is what I've been trying and trying and trying to do for a week now, and we finally have it together. Not only that, the workers do a great job with this mod as well. I've had zero issues with the workers on this mod. It's literally just go through, treat it like it's a crop, and mow. And look, it's it's mown. Now, the one thing that I haven't tried to do here is see, you, you've got enable straw swath, disable straw swath. It's kind of a, a a weird thing. So we just we just leave that alone. We don't touch that. I was trying to figure out how to get hay to come out the back while we mowed grass and maybe like half of it would be grass, half of it would be hay because that would be amazingly perfect for this farm, especially where we need grass and hay. But alas, we can't do that. At least I haven't been able to figure that out yet. A-Dub, if you're listening, I know you're out there, you watch all the videos. Maybe we can try to figure something out. That will be the next phase to this. But between now and then, I would say this is working just fine. This is so cool. So I'm going to finish our headland here just as if I were combining anything else. I mean, look at that. We've already got what? A hundred, almost a hundred thousand liters of grass already. Just from all that. Man, this thing rocks. Now we'll say you guys saw right here it missed because the header got bumped up on the side right there. So it's not able to cut if it is uneven. So there are some, uh, there are some caveats to this. You do have to be a little bit careful, but most fields are fine. And actually right now it's kind of drag, I'm fighting it, just dragging the ground a little bit, but the, it's okay. I've got it set to, see, I think most cutters are set to like 0.8. This is set to 0.5. Most mowers set to 0.2. However, they just glide along the ground. At 0.2, this was like forcing into the ground. I couldn't steer, period. So that's that. We're good though. Everything's, I mean, it really is at the end of the day, this thing's good and it works. I can't believe it. This is all I've ever wanted. It was just a combine to mow. Hire worker, turn off our help window because we don't need that. And look, look at that. It's a worker in it, mowing the grass, putting it in the combine, do, doing all the stuff. What did this grass coming in? I'm freaking out just a little bit, but uh, yeah, let's let's go do this to another field. Here, I'm not even gonna worry about trying to hit headlands. We are just gonna, well, that, that was gonna say I was not gonna worry about hitting headlands. The worker didn't wanna work, so we did to do that. But look, worker's working. It's doing what it's supposed to. The animations, I think, look pretty good. It's, I mean, as good as they can look, at least. The grass, of course, very thin. It is probably the, it, at least it, it seems to be, the smallest form texture and thinnest texture of any other crop in the game, especially when uh, harvesting like this. But it's working just fine. It's doing a good job. The only thing is, kind of when it gets down to the end, it jitters. But that, I mean, this shouldn't exist. And that's why it's so awesome. I will say... This version, I'm going to be working on a second version of this with Adub. He doesn't know it yet, but now he does, I guess. Um, I'm going to be working on a second version of this, changing one of the in-game combines. This is a modded combine that I've been able to pick up, and I have altered it, and I've got like four or five different versions of this specific combine because I love it so much. But I can't give you guys this mod. So we're going to be working on something, and we're going to be sending it, uh, sending it out. Hopefully, in the next week or so, we're going to be getting the uh, Google Drive together as well. So that's all going to be well and good. Let's see, worker's still going to do what he normally does down here. Hey, no, the worker actually did a good job right there at the end. Okay, not bad. I am going to hit three headlands here at the top, 
just because I want this guy to just fly through. Let's see, how are we rocking right here? <laughs> in a square patch right there for some reason, but that's okay. We'll come back and hit that. I'm not really concerned about it. But you see, worker's doing a good job. Missed a couple little spots here and there, but it's just because of the terrain and, and that kind of thing. So, we're going to babysit this, set it on, then we're going to come back. We're going to do poplars, but a different way. Before we get into poplars, I need to start getting the hay made. This right here is just your average, everyday Pottinger HIT 1214T. Base game stuff, base game JCB, anybody can do this. What you want to do is you want to lower it, and then what you want to do is hold your options button or your like L1 or yeah, L1 or uh, LB, whatever, and then just slam either A if you're on Xbox or X if you're on PlayStation twice. Like, ta da! Boom. Just like that. Then turn it on and hit cruise control as fast as you can. And then you will now be booking along as fast as your tractor will go. Now, I don't recommend going much more over like 24 miles per hour because you start to hit some interesting spots. So just be careful. Also, if you're using things like I am, I need to make sure that everything I pick up is hay. Because if it's not, I'm going to be in trouble. So I've got to go through and I've got to make sure I overlap. Not only that, but I've got to make sure there's no grass left, period. And also going fast means that you tend to miss a few little spots here and there. So we've got to be careful with this. We're going to be running two headlands, just like everything else, down and back. Uh, and then we're going to be setting this guy on a worker. Now, once you set this on a worker, the worker will not go this fast. The worker's going to go the speed in game. But I think that's about 13 miles an hour anyway. So... It's not too bad. Turns out max speed's 11. Even worse. But what's not bad at all is an all chrome poplar eating machine. Big Daddy would be super jelly right now. Don't worry, Big Daddy. I'm going to send you this mod. It's awesome. We're going to run across this. Let's get this guy unfolded. This is a very, very special mod that A Dub himself added to this mower pack. The, I don't know if we're putting this together. What What's going on with it? We're doing some crazy stuff and having fun doing it. That's all I know. But this guy right here is just like any other thing. Anything else. With one exception. It eats poplars for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Gobbles them up and pops them out into wood chips. We've already got 15,000 liters of wood chips. Come on. Yo, this thing is so hype. Being able to do crazy mods like this, it's something as a console player that I always wanted to do and I never could do. And uh, I, I was searching through some forums yesterday and I actually had a couple buddies uh, sending me messages and people were asking what, uh, you know, if there were farming simulator YouTubers out there that people should watch. And you guys were absolutely incredible. The Goham fam is everywhere because you guys were posting things like, if you want to watch realistic stuff, check out Daggerwin, check out Virtual Farmer. If you want to watch stuff with like trucks and awesome roleplay, check out Squad. If you just want to see some crazy, crazy farming, go check out DJ Goham. And I appreciate you guys so much. Being able to be put in the same realm as those three other guys is just something that I never thought would, would ever be the case. And it is extremely humbling. And I promise every single day I'll do nothing for bringing you guys some crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. But with all that being said, that is going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel, join the GoHam fam, and make sure your notification bells are turned on. Double check those notification bells so that you never miss a video here on the channel. Again, I'm truly humbled and very, very thankful for every single one of the members of the GoHam fam out there. Let's get a hashtag GoHam fam up in the chat right now if you guys are still watching. With all that being said, I hope you have an awesome day. A wonderful, great day. We'll see you later. Oh yeah, tune in tomorrow. We're going to sell all this. Peace!